I'm staying at the Hyatt House LAX and the coffee maker that they have is just a really simple perfunctory thing that looks like it's been used for a long time and probably has some kind of build up from old commercial coffees. But that's what we have. So what we're gonna do is gonna take it, rinse it out a bit. And I'm sure the inner basket's gonna have residue. We're just gonna rinse that a little bit. I could scrub it out, but you know what? That's just not an issue. We're gonna fill the carafe with water and then bring it back and start to heat it up. Now the clear tall is really a very simple brewing device. You've got the paper filter, you just open it up, insert it, and add the coffee. How much am I really using? I'm not sure. I'm just eyeballing it based on my experience of how much I think looks best. You could measure out individual portions and then bag them separately. I don't do that. I just grind a bunch of coffee, toss them in a Ziploc bag, and then toss that in the luggage. So now that the water has fully heated up, it's not going to be probably the temperature we really want it. So it's probably going to be right 185, maybe 170 Fahrenheit, maybe, who knows. But we're just going to roll with it. We're going to take that water and then start to drip. We're going to do a little pulsing action just to get the ground saturated make it look really nice now here's the thing about the clear the tall is that it's a really small vessel so it doesn't really hold a lot of water when you're brewing so you really have to do a lot more multiple pours than you would with the other types of conical brewers but this one we're just gonna pulse again and then after the pulsing, we're gonna add water. And we're just gonna keep adding water to the coffee until we get the volume we want. And that's gonna take several additions and we're pretty much going to use all of the water that's in our kettle. So what we're trying to do is really keep the bed of coffee hydrated throughout the brewing process. And then what the nice thing about the Kalina Tall is that if you look at the back side, there's a little notch, and that notch allows you to see inside the cup to see how much volume you're using, right? So it, especially in situations where you're not using a scale to measure out your water, and you're doing all by feel like we're doing now, you can just use this little porthole to see into the cup and see how much volume you have, and you can use that to help gauge when to stop. It looks like it's fully brewed. Now we've got enough volume in the cup, and time to get rid of the grind. So basically, I just grab the Kalina Tall, grab the trash can, and just dump it in, and easy peasy, right? Easy, easy, easy. Nothing really to worry about there. All right, so how does it taste? There's some brightness to it. It's got some good body, like really clean finish. Just a really enjoyable cup of coffee. And this is made using suboptimal conditions. So as you can see, you could make really nice coffee on the road without having to have too much, you know, gear and rigmarole to make it. Like, you have to try some donuts. I went to Randy's, look how big this is. Mm. That's crazy good. Perfect with the coffee. 